What's going on guys? Packed out here bringing you the 14th episode of the Puck Drop. To catch you up from the last episode, we lost two games. I think our first two games in regulation. We only scored two goals in the last game, but good thing we have 90,000 coins ready to go buy a new goaltender. A lot of you guys suggested Ben Bishop, but there is a 97 Patrick Waugh out in packs right now. It is the trade deadline season of HUD. We got two packs. We got a hope to get some good out of here. Let's see what we're going to get. Oh, come on. Oh, that was going to be a gold plus pack to bring us back into the series, but we have 800 points right now stashed up here in the point bank. Let's get another gold plus. Come on, inside. Come on. So we know the silver plus is good enough for 400 points. That's going to give us 1,200 points, more than enough than we need for the special premium pack. The second one, I think it's 1,000 points. Let's see, it's the premium trade deadline packs, 1,000 points. We're going to go ahead, take 1,000 away from there. That leaves us with 200. So right now, we're going to get to open up a gold pack and the middle trade deadline premium pack, get back into this game, pick up some good players in the auction house, and get into the first game. So if we could solve our goalie woes right here, not even have to rely on that 84 Bishop team of the week that you guys suggested to me, which I'm very excited to try to Bishop. Haven't done it in a while, but first and foremost, we got a gold pack ready to go. This is from the first puck drop. Once again, we only get two puck drops because we kind of got stuffed last game. It definitely wasn't the best. Come on, give us something good here. First gold pack, we get a gold common card. Oh, silver collectible. All right. This is what we're most excited about. There is a new Matt Duchesne trade deadline. 95 overall card? That would make sense if that's his jersey number. I can't believe it's, I can't, I can't remember if it's a 95 or a 97. We're gonna try and pull in this pack, 1,000 points. Here we go, skip the animation. Another silver collectible. Nino Niederreiter, I believe that's gonna be. Noah Hannafin, oh God. These premium packs have not worked out for me this year. So we asked you guys at the end of last episode to give us a goalie that would not disappoint us. We gotta go with my man, Ben Bishop. And just looking at some of these contracts right here, let's see, 28,000, looks like it's gonna cost me for him. This 28,777 is going to be the cheapest, but that does leave us with a little bit of spending cash to upgrade the team. We got 63,000 coins left to go. I know one of the defensemen we have on our team is Shane Gosses Bear, who was great off the start, but we really need to beef up that blue line from here on out. Probably one of the most popular cards out there on the market as far as lefty goes, which we're gonna replace Gosses Bear with, is Wade Redden. He's a, he's a wrecking ball out there. He has 91 checking, 92 on defense. He's a great card. He's gonna be a huge upgrade for us on Gosses Bear. Might not be as fast as him, but it's definitely gonna provide us with some more support back there. So I think it's perfect that we spend the last bit of money that we have left over on a legend who killed it for us way early on, Ty Domi. 88 overall, we can pick up his legend card for just under 44,000. It's gonna leave us with like 4,000 coins. We're probably not gonna be making any purchases for the rest of this episode, so we're gonna have to hold off into the next one. But that is gonna be an absolutely phenomenal purchase for us. So let's go make the team, show you guys the new lines, and head up this first game. But this is the new lineup. You're gonna see that the first line hasn't really changed. Ty Domian's gonna be on line two with Juan Cornway. Then we get Ovechkin, Malkin, and Dylan Larkin on line three. We moved Lindholm all the way back to line four. I don't think he had like quite the best start. We actually moved Nathan McKinnon off the lineup for now. He kind of hasn't been producing much like his evolution card. Bumped all the way up to a 91 at the start of the year, then just kind of stayed there. I really wish that card would do a little bit better. And then we got Wade Red in here. All right, I don't think he deserves line three. Let's bump him back. Victor Hedman, we're going to not have to rely on you so much and give you a little bit of a rest. In goal, we got Ben Bishop, team of the week, Winnie the Bish. Here we go. Game one of the episode. Let's go. It's been over a month since we put out one of these episodes, but it has not been over a month since my last game. I played the game quite a bit. This guy's got McDavid on a winger. Got Paul Stassi in the middle, Phil Kessel. Interesting first line. Let's go. Look at that. Bishop already playing better than all of my goalies combined from the first couple episodes. Larkin up to the point. Malkin, rip it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'll take it. I feel like that was a beautifully set up play. Malkin just didn't get a shot, got blocked in front. So Malkin's gonna get credit for that one. No goal interference. We're taking it. One zip. Come on, Lindholm, make it two. Oh, gets a save. Who is this goalie? This guy's got some no-name players out here. Oh, walk it in, far side. Oh my gosh, there we go. That's Frank Mahovlitz taking it far side. Second goal, scoring on, I don't know who that is. Assisted by Elias Lindholm, let's go. Fourth line serving him well. Guy's not getting some of the best shot chances I've ever seen. 
So that's the end of the first period, a nice performance by us. Had to settle down a bit, the nerves were kind of getting to us. Here we go, five shots to 10. He's got more time attack, he's got more shots. Hopefully we come alive here, get the rust off the fingers for the, the puck drop series a bit and come alive in the second period. Oh, Kudrov three, snipe. Yes, there we go, that's Nikita Kucherov. That's his 85 base car, he still snipes it. If there's one car whose base card is just far and above probably the best base in the game, Patrick Kane's card is absolutely nasty. He has the best shot of pretty much any player I've used in this game so far. You gotta pick him up. Send it up, send it up. Who has this puck, who's coming away? Three on one, not good. Come on, Conacher. Nice, just threw that one away. Over to Stammer, back into Cooch. Oh, one more. Oh my gosh, it's that chemistry, man. Stam coast to Kucherov, here we go. Oh, that was beautiful, it was just them two. The two Tampa guys up on line one. Sidney Crosby probably helped that play. Four to zip, only five, four minutes to go. Four minutes into the second period, I think we're gonna max out at five goals. God, if this guy would just walk in a little bit, he'd have a much better shot at scoring a goal. <laughs> that was the slowest windup I've ever seen. <laughs> Anywho, all right, that was a decent second period. It's four to zip still. I feel like we came alive in that one. Bishop still playing great. Thanks again for the suggestion. He's been absolutely killing it. We need one more goal to max out those rewards since we're in Division 5. Division 4 and up, unlimited. However many goals we score is how many drops of the puck we get to start the episode. I'm super psyched for Division 4 to come. First off, we got to pass Division 5, win this game. Baby steps. Holy crap, he's still out shooting me 16 to 8. But then again, his shots are pretty, like, they have a pretty low chance of going in. Time on attack is evened up, so third period, let's really take it to him. Dolmy powers everybody and snipes it home. <laughs> I didn't know we had a custom celebration. That's absolutely fantastic. Riding the stick, cowboy style, down the ice. That's Max Royds right there. Oh, fancy. Oh, God. <laughs> ah, fake him out. I've been playing pretty gung-ho this entire game, so the second you just pump the brakes when you come in the zone, defense are pretty much screening the goalie at that point, and it's like, where do you want to put this puck? All right, big check come. Big check. Oh, come on. Nice. Oh, I think McDavid's injured. <laughs> All right, so that's going to be the end of your game. What was, was it five to one or five nothing or six nothing? All right, six nothing, but we maxed out at five goals here. Gosh, this guy completely outshot me, but he was uh, getting many good looks at the net. He was just kind of walking from the blue line or just collecting it in the corner and just kind of ripping it towards the net. I don't really think, if he, if he could be a little bit more patient with the puck, he probably could be. A pretty good player out here, but we took that one. Very consistent, two goals in every single period to finish this one off, six to nothing. Let's take a look at his team real quickly because, all right, he's got that Phil Kessel. I actually tried to find this Phil Kessel for the 48,000 coins I had, couldn't do it, but this card is always haunting my nightmares. I don't know what it is, but he's got that Peter Forsberg, beautiful card, Brett Hall, Wade Redden, Jason Spezza, oh, okay, he's got the nice milestone Spezza. Gagula, I don't know, this guy's been terrorizing me on the face-offs the entire time. Got a nice Victor Hedman. He's got, yeah, 88 overall, 87 overall. Von Cornway. Gosh, nice Subban. Holy crap. He's got a Peter Stassi, 95 overall. That makes a lot more sense. I was thinking it was like Paul Stassi for the longest time. Peter Stassi. That's a beauty of a card. Too bad he went negative one. <laughs> All right, in that, who was his goalie? Wow, Bill Ranford but I don't think he was playing. No, it was Lars Hulgen. Why didn't he have this guy playing? It's probably much better of a card. I don't know, we won six nothing. See at the rewards. So that one really felt good. Coming back from after a month off after having lost the first two games of pretty much this entire series, to come back and do that to an opponent really felt good. So we got 200 points up there in the point bank. I do not think, I'm pretty sure it's impossible to go ahead and bump that one up to 1,000. For the rest of this episode, so we'll just get going on dropping some of these guys. Ooh, nice little favorable bounce there. That gets us a silver regular pack. Let's go, come on. Here we go, that's a gold plus pack. Let's go. All right, so we're keeping both of these pucks since they were lucky. This guy bounced out of the bronze graveyard into a silver pack for us. That's favorable. Ooh, okay, that's a silver plus pack. We got one more pack. Can this guy repeat us with another? Oh. 
so close. All right, so we're gonna take that silver plus pack because those things have never really worked out for me. We're gonna take the silver plus pack points up to the point bank that gives you 600 points on the night. And we're gonna get to open up a silver pack, a bronze plus pack, and a gold plus pack. Here we go. Just to show you guys what is at stake right now in some of the packs that are out. Patrick Waugh, 97. Guy Lafleur, 95 overall. Joe Sackick, Matt Sundin. Crazy good cards out there. This is even a Wendell Clark. I mean, come on. Can we get one of those? A 96. All right, I was wrong. Matt Duchesne from the trade deadline just got traded to the Columbus Blue Jackets, who are currently out of a wild card spot right now. Risky move there, but they're going for it. Connor McDavid, primetime. Brent Burns, Justin Williams. Holy crap, there's so many good cards out. 93 Stamkos, 97 Crosby. We're about to open up four packs. Oh, uh, we're starting things off with pretty much the worst pack. I just put out a video on this. What happens if you open up $50 worth of bronze plus pack? I'll give you a hint. Absolutely nothing, but you should go watch it because it's, I mean, me opening up over 50 of these packs. Let's see. And yeah, it's, that's exactly what happened before. All right, the second pack, we're moving on up to the silver pack, 150 points. All right, let's see it. Give me something good on this one. Show me a gold player that'd make me pretty happy or nothing. And the moment you guys have all been waiting for, it's the gold plus pack time. Last pack we're gonna open in this episode, 700 points. We've opened a decent amount of packs this episode. We're not skipping the animation. We're going through this thing nice and slow. Come on, Ryan McDonough. Nice gold rare to start things off. A couple silvers, okay, a gold common. A couple other depressing stuff. Andrew McDonald, Jake Gensel. Oh my gosh, guys, it's been so long since we had a decent pull. But the team's rocking right now. We just won the last game, 6-0. We're not gonna let these packs get us down. We're going for the second game. We're going for domination. Here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the return of the sickest jerseys in Hut. These Ottawa Senator home jersey. <laughs> I call them the jailbreak jersey because I think that's a pretty fitting name. They look absolutely disgusting, and I want one. <laughs> what was you? What was you doing? He stared at the puck and just let it go. Oh my gosh! He just dangled Bishop. What the crap was my D doing? He stared at the puck next to his skate and just let the opponent take it down for a breakaway. That's crazy. But now, man, Bishop led his first goal. Got to come back from this one. All right, three on one. Oh my gosh, we get all day in the world. Oh, he hits the post. Give me a break. Come on, Crosby. Roof it. There we go. Sidney Crosby, 30 seconds left to go in the first period. Ties this game up. Just had a squeak by his goal. He had the chances. Assisted by Kucherov. And now we finally pull in the back of that. This game's tied up. Here we go. All right, decent first period. Nothing really to say. Let's check out the shots on goal. I bet it's pretty even right now. Six to five. Time on attack in our favor. Let's keep it up. Here we go. Second period. Whew. Nifty moves. Damn close. Oh, it's too easy. He just got out of the way of that shot. I'm glad Wade Redden's dangle didn't go to waste. He absolutely got the assist on that one. Fed it to Crosby. Fed it to Stamkos. We take the lead. No less than five minutes into the second period. Here we go. Let's pile them on now, boys. It's all you, Stamkos. Oh, misses the net so badly. Come on, Cooch. Yes, here we go. Five seconds left to go. This last minute of play for us has been absolutely dynamic. We scored with 30 seconds left in the first period with Crosby. Now it's Kucherov. Let's go. All right, so end of the second period. We're getting outshot once again. But these guys just love shooting from every place on the ice. Time and attack, we have that in our favor. Third period, got to score two more goals to max out rewards for the start of next episode. Let's get it. Don't worry, I set my breakout to full-on aggressive everything. We're going to try and pound home these two goals. One-timer. Oh, my gosh. Cornway. What a laser beam from the point. Four to one. Here we go. I got 15 minutes left. Get that last goal from Mahovlich and Carlson. Let's go, boys. Oh, Bishop gave up another one. Come on. Miko Ranson scores on me. Base Miko Ranson. Assisted from Gabriel Lanskog, so he's got the Avs line out there. All right. Two goal lead. We still are hunting for the victory. First, on, first and foremost, we got to get one more goal to get that rewards. That'd be sweet. Getting five cups. Come on. Yes, there we go. Eric Carlson drops the bomb from the point, cuts in. I love scoring with D. It's like one of my favorite things to do. Ty Domi getting on the board with the assist there. Patrice Bergeron, that is five goals. All we gotta do is hold off this attack now. We can 
finish this episode in style. Yikes. <sighs> so much for fending off that attack. Come on, hot stick. Oh, I was waiting for that celebration too. Had it coming. Uh oh. <laughs> there we go. Kucherov's the second of the game. That's his spot. I mean, he's going to snipe it from there all day long. With three minutes left to go. We have six goals. We try and hit seven. Lucky number seven. Let's go for the seventh goal. Come on. All right, so that is going to do it for this game right here. That is the six to three W. The guys are playing pretty awesome. We're scoring lots of goals, which is awesome. And that's something we didn't do last episode. Season progress. We are now two and two in Division Five. We need seven more points, that is four more wins out of the remaining six that we have, or three in a tie. And then we're on to Division 4, and we're on to Unlimited Rewards, something I don't think we even got to at the end of the last season. I think the first season of uh, the puck drop was too late, and we just couldn't finish any of those seasons. Terrible performance by me. We actually got really close to tying with those shots on goal, 20-19, to 19, time of attack. We ran away with this one. We ran away with the game. It's 6-3. to three. So that is going to do it for this episode of the puck drop. This was episode number 14. We finally broke... The curse got that monkey off our back, got back to scoring goals and winning games and absolutely decimate the competition. But if you guys did enjoy this, smash that thumbs up for me. It helps the channel grow. It helps the videos get out there. helps the views come in. helps me to do more of these videos, which is absolutely appreciative from myself. So if you guys could smash that like. Let me know in the comments section. Anybody I should be picking up a couple episodes from now. Maybe when I get like 50,000 coins or something. But if you guys haven't, subscribe to the channel for more videos. And we're going to be putting out lots of other stuff besides video game. You guys have seen we've done a lot of actual real-time hockey. Let me know challenges you got. Anything you want, put them in the comments section. But thanks again for watching this video, guys. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day. This is Pac-Man. I'm out.